Hello guys, I am Lucianel and welcome finally back to Valiant Hearts The Great War. So it's been a while, <laughs> I got caught up in the whole Ruby situation and all that so I apologize for the ones who have been following this series, which uh, hasn't been that much but um, it doesn't really matter for me because I really liked this game the first time that I play, played it. I'm really excited to bring it, whether or not many people see it, but I hope the ones that are seeing it uh, enjoy it, so let's get back into where we were. So we started chapter 3? Or 2? I don't remember, it's like 5 chapters or 4. Yeah, chapter 2, Broken Earth. Yeah, I remember the Zeppelin fell down, but we are still um, hearing the tale of Anna uh, anyway, so... Yeah, nine months earlier. Anna was training to be a veterinarian when the war broke out. The Germans were only 20 miles from Paris when she received a letter from her father. He was in good health, but implored her not to return home to Belgium until the war's end. Right, so, um... Patience, however, okay. <laughs> not one of Anna's strong suits. It's Anna with two ends, I forgot that. Oh, I forgot. I forgot the controls. I'm really sorry. Um. Whoa! What the heck was that? Is it? Is spacebar? Inkwell. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, the story parts and all that. Um, I was gonna say last time. Uh, the volume was all messed up. Uh, or not the volume, but the sound and the music was all messed up from what was happening. And I don't know if that will carry on uh, from from for now, but I've improved the camera, so hopefully it will not. Although I'm seeing a bit of a not delay, but it's she stops uh, walking a little bit after I when I start I stop pressing the key. I forgot how to throw. There you go. <laughs> well, I messed up. Yeah, I oh, okay. I, I I forgot. I have to make him. Uh, drop the drop it here I think yeah there you go okay it almost didn't fill here but hopefully well uh, fortunately the engine works uh, in our favor you know uh, do I yeah okay. <laughs> oh hi that's who was laughing so oh, what is this let me check it out Letter from a Belgian civilian in Paris. Dear parents, we fled our land before the German advanced to take shelter in France with the children. Unfortunately, the Germans kept coming forward and Paris is practically under siege. If Paris falls, we shall return home to Liege. Your dear daughter, Mathilde. Mathilde? Mathilde? Well, not Mathilde, because it's, it, it will be with a... Um, okay, so there's like a signal of distress somewhere. Or, well, it's not distress, it's the Parisian taxes are a question. The Germans at the gate. Uh, yeah, so I like that this gives a lot of, you know, historical background. So, uh, yeah, there you go, taxi and all that. Um, okay, so it's, it's to transport troops. I forgot about that, but there's actually a minigame coming up for that. Uh, so that's that's really cool that they added this. Okay, tap. Yeah. Um, let's see if we can. I forgot what was the. Okay, I need like a key. Oh right, I need to repair the taxi. Yeah. Water to stop it from burning. Okay, got a key I guess, but it's an X key. Uh there's no like X. Where's an X for the for this key? No, that's not it. Uh, Oh, what? What? Who, who dropped this? Okay, where? Well, here's the tri triangle. Uh, but do I need this? No, I I need the. Me? Can I close it? No. Okay. Uh, let me see. There's this one. Uh, but first I need like a bucket or something, right? Here, no? Oh, I need a wheel for show. Sure. Okay. Man, <laughs> she's pretty strong. Okay, and now I need the water. Let's see, where's the water? Or, well, yeah, there's the water, but something to carry the water with. Um, 
Okay, she hurt herself, apparently. <laughs> this is all happening very fast. <laughs> Let me take care of her. Oh, 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 I forgot there was this thing, yeah. Yeah, I forgot this minigame. That's this is actually pretty cool. Um, this becomes very important later, though. Uh, because, I mean, this is a normal injury for a little girl. But later injuries are, you know, soldier injuries, so they're way harder to, to fix. Oh, there you go. Okay, <laughs> let's just take that. I mean, that's what, <laughs> that's what they can pay us with. Oh, there you go. There they are, you know, going to the, to the war and all that. Cool, okay. So let's go. All right. <laughs> and this is another of those mini games. So I really hope the music is in sync. Yeah. <laughs> oh, 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 yeah, I forgot that. Okay. Uh... Um, okay. <laughs> yeah. So, the, these sequences are uh, definitely one of my... Or, yeah, one of my favorite parts of the game. Whoa, okay. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> okay, it's actually... Oh, okay. <laughs> Almost. Ooh. Okay. Oh, 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 okay. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, okay. Yeah, and there's always these intermissions. Uh, okay. Okay, calm down. <laughs> uh, mm, it's actually lagging a, a bit. Just a little bit, but, you know. Uh, okay, come on. Don't... <laughs> why are you doing this? Okay. Up. Uh, the sound stop. Okay, there you go. The sound stopped, so I'm guessing it is lagging quite a bit. Okay, hold hold on. Okay, it's lagging a lot. Hold on, hold on. Hold the freaking phone. Okay, there you go. <laughs> uh, uh, okay. <laughs> there you go. Oof. Uh, okay. Um, yeah, okay. Oh! I was literally at the end, what the heck? Well, hopefully it's not gonna get ah oh, desynchronized here. Because I literally blew up my car and uh, we are going to war, we are not in war now, so it's a bit weird that there's a lot of risk in this. Uh oh yeah, that there'll be uh too many stakes! Uh okay. Ugh. Oh! Okay, there you go. Cool. Oh. I thought we will have to replay the September whole 7th, sequence. 1914. Yeah. Taxis drove all night. Anna mm -hmm. was proud to help the soldiers reach That's the really front interesting. Line. They will use uh, taxis to. When Anna arrived at her destination, <sighs> bring she the soldiers. discovered the horrible truth with her own eyes. Uh, September 7th, 1914, yeah. Oh, there's someone there, right? I think so, yeah. There you go. All right. Oh, crap. I have to hold it? Yeah. Okay. So, oh, do I have to? Yeah. So, there's... Here's another one of those. Though it's still a bit easier. But you see how the... The band-aid is like uh, bloody. What is it? And now that uh, uh, now that he's uh, healed, it's better. So that's good. And if you mess it up, uh, of course it will get uh, more or bloodier. Yeah. So this is really cool. <laughs> Seven months went by. Driven by compassion, Anna devoted herself, body and soul, to healing the wounded and the sick. Every life saved 
was another small victory over the war. The conflict, however, raged on. Okay, so yeah, there's, there's probably gonna be a, uh, you know, a synchronization issue uh, because the frame rate is really low right now. So I don't know if that will, I mean, it probably will. Uh, let me just synchronize it again once I start, or once I resume the, the, the game. Whoa, what's actually going on? What the hell was weird? Oh, well, it's like explosions, okay. But because the frame rate is low, it, it, it looks really weird. Uh, so yeah, I think it goes nor at normal speed uh, for you, but it's it lagging a lot for me. Not that that bad that I can't play, but in, in the sense that I always lagging too much. Okay, <laughs> now it's... Uh, but mostly, you know, for, for the game itself, or not for the game itself, but for the recording. I do remember there being some some lag. Uh, let's see if we can talk to him. Okay, someone needs help. Over there. Okay. And yeah, those three are the ones that we have to help. And I think that is it for this part. Uh, or for this... Yeah, for this, not chapter, but like Anna's uh, backstory and all that. I may have to skip this part or yeah some of the stuff that is lagging t way too much because it's weird like it starts with like at 60 frames and now it's not and it's weird because I have more than enough RAM for it to be I mean 30 it's okay but as soon as I start like doing something let me just keep going and I'll you know just compile the things that are not lagging too much Ah, uh, there's something. Oh, he needs like an amputee. Oh crap! Oh, tap. The Hecatomb. The first three months of the war saw especially heavy losses. August 22 was the bloodiest day of the whole war. With heavy casualties, the number of wounded were far greater than had been anticipated, and the military health services struggled to cope with the scale of the conflict. Let's see here. Oh, there you go. That's the saw. That's what I wanted. Okay. I hope this is not an issue for when I'm, yeah, doing the mini game. Because I, it, when it lagged, while I was doing the whole, uh, you know, the cart, that did prove to be a, a bit of a problem. Let's see here, here. Okay. There seems to be like a big uh, point of error. Uh, here, all right, here, okay, okay, good, that's better, okay, oh, it's the arm, yeah, I, I'm already seeing the synchronization, okay, down, left, down, oh, the sound, left, down, okay, so let's see if that helps synchronizing the, the audio. Um, okay, let's again, left. Left, I said left, left. Right, right, right. Okay, that's improving. Down, 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 okay. Okay, we're good. And the frame rate even improved <laughs> a lot, actually. That's interesting, yeah. The engine is definitely um, uh, unpolished in this game. That's what I uh, I will say that like some of the animations and you know stuff like that. Oh, well, drop that. <laughs> no problem. And it, we're back at six sixty frames. Wow. Okay. I mean, thank you. Uh, you want water? Okay. Yeah. I remember that. I gotta go to here. Oh man, it's so beautiful to play it. Oh, what? To play this uh, at 60 frames, it feels so good. Uh, I don't need a hint. Shut up. Uh, so I already. Oh, uh, wait. Uh, the artifacts or something like that. Let's see. Hold on. Uh, there we go. I found this. Yeah, tallow sucks. So suck and cut it with orange oil. Uh, the most effective way to beat the cold and damned. Oh, interesting. Uh, but yeah, the whole war thing is pretty must messed up. 
you know, because uh, soldiers always need to take drugs and stuff to ease the pain. You know, that's really that's something that I really like about uh, the Metal Gear games that it makes a big emphasis on. Uh, yes, this is a shooter, and yes, it's a really cool shooter game, but also war is terrible, so, you know, and. Uh, you know, like like one of the this the themes in this game is war makes men mad. Uh, it's one of the main oh, themes, uh, like actual music themes, not like well also themes, as in themes. I think there, there is there someone alive here? No, or is there? Or do I need to take something? Well, I think it's gonna be later. I know I'm looking for a crouch. Uh, bury them. Cross? Okay. And that's also pretty sad that they had to be buried here. Uh, bandages? Uh, okay. Oh, here's the cross. Okay. Oh, I have to hold it. I, I forget that to drag, I have to hold it. Okay, so I'm gonna finish uh, this chapter or. Uh, Anna's chapter, I guess you could call it that. Um, and then I'm gonna, yeah. And then I'm gonna leave it at that for now. Uh, I'm gonna use this as, a, or for him to use it as a crouch. But yeah, that's what I'm gonna do in these episodes. I'm gonna finish the whole, uh, you know, Anna's backstory. You're welcome. Man, the frame rate in this is really good. Uh, once it's, you know, not lagging. Like it feels really good. There's some like minor, uh, you know, how do you call it? Like things sometimes, but it's generally good. It's not bad at all. Um, bandages. So, oh yeah, the scarf, I forgot. Uh, is there like something where I, uh, or do I just need to beat the, because there's a three and it has a scarf. So that's what I have to use. Oh, there's like a card. Oh yeah, this is really, Heartbreaking, I think. Letter from a Prussian soldier. My dear daughter, we are making headway through the French countryside. The landscape is beautiful. I'd much rather be enjoying it with uh, with you than killing people. I think of you all the time. Your father, Wolfgang. Yeah. So this is this is all really heartbreaking. Uh, Cause also the letter never made. Uh, unless Anna can do something about it, you know, like send it to Prussia, uh, yeah, to Prussia and all that. Uh, let me get the scarf. Do I just beat in the thing? Or I think is there, there's something. Oh, it's just a collectible. Nurse's manual, okay. Uh, why does that actually say now that I think about it? Uh, the manual provided a whole host of practical solutions to logistical and medical problems at the front, such as how to make a splint or stretcher using rifles and their straps. Uh-huh. There you go. So, yeah, that's that's rough. Uh, oh, well, I can use this. Oh, that's right. Okay, so that's why it didn't, you know, disappear. Okay. I don't need a hint. Shut up. Man, I should have used... I, I should have put it in, like, better and mode, because I've already played this, so... I mean, I already know a lot of this stuff, but that's why I'm liking this series because it's like very chill, you know, uh, and I get the, to explain why I, why I really like this game. And something that I've really been seeing a lot with Game Grumps, you know, when uh, I just saw a gameplay of, I don't know what was the name of the game, but uh, Dan played it. Um, oh, again, the minigame, okay. And it's going faster now, as you can see. Ooh. Uh, down, down, uh, right, yeah. <laughs> so, and he was playing uh, a game that he had been playing. Uh, I know this looks really easy, and it really is, but uh, it, 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 especially the last part is what gets really hard. Oh, that's right, yeah. Now I go down, um, and he was playing a game that he played when he uh, that he had last played when he was like seven years. This like really old school game, uh, even before the point and clicks. And I personally really like them because I've seen uh, there's a game 
that this guy oh yeah we gotta nurse him too uh, there's also this game that uh, I saw another person play that was called five days a stranger uh, and well it's a whole series it's like five days a stranger seven days a skeptic and uh, Tribalist journal or something like that and there's the and then there's uh, a final one like six days a sacrifice or something I missed one yeah <laughs> Yeah, six days of sacrifice is the last one. Uh, not chronologically, but you know, plot. The German uh, army was about to experiment with a new. Oh, yeah, that's so. That's why she gets to to Ypres. Yeah. Anna got en route to warn her father about the imminent danger. Reaching the outskirts of the city, Anna was greeted by the screams of sirens. And there's the uh huh. That's what we saw, remember? Uh, Deadly gas was already here. Yeah. For progress was made in the fields of medicine, surgery, medical hygiene, and radiology thanks to Mary Curie's work, who took thousands of x-rays of the wounded. Uh, so that's the really interesting part, uh, because something good came out of war. I'm not saying war is good at all, but something good came out of it, and that's really amazing. Uh, so yeah, like I was saying, that gameplay of Dan and that, that other guy that I saw. Uh, oh, he's wearing like a little gas mask. So yeah, uh, that's the kind of games that I will that I like to play, even if I've already played them. Uh, I forgot the name of the game that Dan was playing, but I saw it just yesterday at night, and like it was really relaxing, and it it, it helped me sleep really calm. So, I'd be sure to, if I ever meet them, to thank him for that. Yeah, there's people that need me, of course. <laughs> I'm a little girl. Her mother. Yeah, up there. Oof. Yeah, she passed out. Uh, do I have to break this? I actually don't remember. Uh, oh yeah, I have to get over here. Or through here, yeah. Do I... How do I punch? I forgot how do I punch. I'm like, okay. <laughs> hmm. Oh, I have to wait here. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Up. Cool. Uh, down. Down, down, right, right, up, up. Cool. There you go. Down, right, down, right, up, and up. Okay. So I'm gonna be pre recording a lot of stuff because I'm going back to school. And you know, in the time that I settle, uh, they settle in, uh, it's gonna be tough. Wooden top. Wooden top with string, a common tie of yeish. Oh, yeah. Um, we actually still have this in Mexico. I, 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 I had those when I was a kid. Uh, they weren't made of wood, of course, but they, you know, plastic and all that. But uh, people had uh, still had some made of wood and those were like, oh, you have one of wood, you're like the, the, main, the main man. Uh, during the war, toys gradually became more war-based. Uh, through board games, children could fight out famous battles while uh, other I items ridiculed the enemy. After the war, toys and games became more pacifist once more. Yeah. That's interesting. There they are. Hmm. Yeah. So, I mean, how would it, would it have been in that time? Uh, I need a key, okay. Okay, there's gas. Oh, but there's like a... Okay. So how how was it in that time? I wonder what was in people's minds. That's what I'm, I'm uh, wondering. Because they must have thought that it was like the end of the war or something. And even after the war, there was still like the, this tension. Oh yeah, I have to break the, the floor. Uh, I think that's up there. I think so, I don't remember though. Uh, let's go down. Okay. 
Let me. Okay, this is. I I like that this is at least this is uh, kind of true to you know real physics and all that. Uh, the fact that oh, uh, how do I go through this? Uh, even after there was a lot of tension, that's why America and other countries, uh, or the United States and other countries, are full of consumism. Or uh, yeah. Uh, I don't know if that's the term, but, uh, you know, buying compulsively, because it, it was, it, it, uh, as far as they were concerned, the nuclear bombs and all that could go off at any minute. Uh, but by the time, you know, people uh, relaxed, and the problem is if they relax too much, because we, ca we could have a defeat, uh, repeat of this, and it could actually be, you know, the end of the world. Let's see... Yeah, there you go, okay. It's weird that it didn't make a sound, but okay. Uh, okay, the frame rate is going down again. That's cool, and all, but... Oh, it went up pretty quickly, okay. So, yeah, the puzzles are not the hardest at all uh, at any point, but... You know, it's still enjoyable, I think. And there's the bell. So now it should be open, the path down below. Uh, yeah, there you go. Uh-huh. Whoa, okay. <laughs> they went by, by way too fast. Uh, yeah, I'm going, sorry. Uh, oh, I need to turn... Is this turning that off? Oh, okay, it's the... Oh, the smoke is leaving. Okay. Cool. Yeah, Anna is actually one of my favorite characters, definitely, from this game. Uh, uh, although all the characters are really interesting. So you see how it's getting a bit uh, faster and also, you know, more combinations. Uh, down, left, down, left, down, left, down, left, okay. It caught me by surprise at the beginning, I, I won't lie. <laughs> So yeah, the last one of this is really nerve-wracking. Uh, oh yeah, so we are going to where the other guys were. Oh yeah. Here it comes. Okay. Yeah, I need the crank. Or can't I use my, like, baton? Or I don't know what am I using, uh, like a stick, a stick with a whip. What is that? That is also interesting. What is the whip that I have? Okay, so we gotta help her. So we still got one more thing to do first. What is that? A teacup? Bed pan? Oh, yeah. Latrines. Okay. <laughs> Another thing that they didn't, uh, or we had not really far in the past over here. Yeah. I don't know why. Uh, oh yeah, I need to... Do, do I push this? So should I interact with the... With this thing? Yeah, okay. <laughs> that was the right key. Or, uh, yeah, key. Or button, whatever you may call it. So let's see if we can get in there. Uh, we need the key. Uh, how do we get a key? I forgot that part. So, oh yeah, there's something about the book, I think. 1-4. Or I-4, I don't know. Uh, I-4, right? Uh, I don't know if that, that was like code. Sounds like it was something. 2-6, so 1-4-2-6. I don't remember what that means. Well, let me see if I can, like, move that painting or something. Interact in any way. Oh, I can't. Oh. Oh. Well, that was fairly simple. Okay. <laughs> I thought that was more... Well, there there wasn't anything else to interact with, too. So it, it only makes made sense. I... <laughs> Why does it ask me if I need help when I'm already... Yeah, 1426. When I'm already solving this. One, four, two, six. And three, eight. One. Okay, so it's going in two, right? 
four, six, eight is going in series of two, right? Okay, one. Okay, four. Okay. How do I? Okay, four, two, six. No? It was one, four. Oh, uh, I, I'm dumb again. <laughs> okay, so it's going. It is going. It is going in two by two, right? Yeah, I, I was just dumb that four, two, six. It, it threw me off. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> All right. Oh. Here is, yeah, his research, you know, the Zeppelin, the the machine, the poison machine, and the, the tank. So I don't know, was he working uh, with the Germans before? Before the war started or something? Or was he, like, forced to work with them? I think, what is this, like, formula? Chemical formula, so that's the, yeah, chlorine gas. Okay, this formula is a description of what happens to soldiers' lungs when they inhale chlorine gas. Chlorine gas reacts with water in the lungs to produce uh, hydrochloric acid, creating horrendous burns. Okay, yeah. So it wasn't the formula, but it was like the reaction. I, I forgot to, or I, 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 yeah, it didn't make sense what I said, sorry. <laughs> so there's that. I don't know for what. Let's see, so I got a grenade, uh, you know, a hand grenade, or it's not a hand grenade, it's a... So, whoa, okay, that actually scared me. <laughs> that was really abrupt. Oh, no. Yeah, I know. She's gonna pass out. Okay, yeah. Uh, what can I... Oh, okay, I couldn't move for a second there. That was weird. Yeah. So, um, I think they were actually uh, forced, or not forced, they rushed this game. I mean, it's still a pretty cool game. I'm not saying it isn't, but uh, it was rushed, I think, because they wanted it to be ready for the, you know, the anniversary of the of the war. Oh, yeah, here's the thing about the Yabondorf yeah, made us capture some scientists. They are misinterested in his work, and apparently he'll help Germany win the war. Yeah, there you go. Oh, it's a crank! It's not a freaking grenade, dummy! Okay, because I saw the bugs. Okay, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Alright, I get it. I get it. Okay. It looked like it. I mean, it, it definitely seems a bit similar. Uh, so yeah, let me throw it right here. There you go. Okay. So that should do the trick. Yeah. That definitely helped. Oh, there you go. Nice. Uh, so I should aid her because she's unconscious. I forgot about that. Oh, yeah. Uh, two. Okay. Okay. All right. <laughs> I do like the these combinations. Down, down, both. Left, left. Two. Down, down, two. Okay. Uh, two, two, uh, right, right, down, uh, uh, right, two, two, up, up, sorry, <laughs> I messed it up at the end, but fortunately the stakes are not that high yet, although she was unconscious, so. to her that her father, an eminent scientist, had been kidnapped by Baron von Dorn. Oh, who that's was right. Eager to use scientific advances in warfare. Mm -hmm. Anna set out in pursuit of the Baron. Oh, and, and that's when. And Freddy. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Destiny brought them together. They had survived the enemy's wrath. Their gunfire, bombardments, gas attacks. Now, with her father within reach, Anna wasn't going to let him slip away. No. 
Right, so this part is in a way the climax of Anna's storyline. Uh, you can see how the story goes uh, very fast, but like I said, it, they were uh, unfortunately rushing it for the for the the anniversary. But like I said, I still really like the game, so I hope you've been enjoying it. Uh, that will be it for now. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, suggest me what other games you would like me to play next. I am thinking of making, uh, you know. Because I was playing, uh, I don't remember exactly what I was, uh, well, I was playing Danganronpa and that's a very long series. So I want to complement uh, uh, Danganronpa with other uh, shorter series like this one, uh, maybe Subnautica, although it is, a bit, it is pretty long too. Uh, but I don't think it's as long as Danganronpa V3. But suggest me short games that you would like me to play. Even if it's like uh, even mini games or stuff that is to play just one time. Because that will be also cool. So that will be it for now. As always, I'm Lucien L and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.